Cinderella is memorable, it's touching, it's funny, it evokes every single feeling or emotion that an audience member could feel. They can expect to see a lot of comedy, a lot of interpersonal interactions, a lot of romance. Cinderella has been around for a very long time, hundreds of years. But in terms of ballet, composers such as Rossini and Tchaikovsky tried at it, but really never made a great success. It's only until the 1940s when Sergei Prokofiev comes around and he writes one of the great masterworks of all time. The minute you hear the first note of the overture, your heart just kind of opens up and you just know that it's going to be very, very special. The, the interesting thing about dance is that it's a live interpersonal action. And so to do things in a way that the audience will connect with you and with the story, I think is the hardest thing, is to get away from sort of preconceived ideas of prince and princess and to make it human. So I didn't even think of the steps. I thought of the story. I thought of the story and how the audience would feel watching the story. I think, oh, this scene is my favorite scene and this piece of music is my favorite music. She has the stepmother um, who is borderline abusive at some point. She has the stepsisters who gang, gang up against her and she has a father who is currently more concerned with his new wife and new family, which is going to be his future. So he needs to be less concerned with Cinderella. But what doesn't stop is the feeling of um, hopefulness for the future. She has chosen to not let her situation in life get her down. We had to figure out how to physically have a real dress that looked like it was made out of magic, and I think we did it. The fairy godmother and those critters knew there would be some day when Cinderella needed them, and they present this magical ensemble to send her to the ball. I told Jordi, I said, I need something that flows. I need something that just looks like it's not even real. I don't know, it just had to be something that was like ethereal and magical and like made of magic. And it is, it looks like it to me. Basically, I am Cinderella's enemy. She's new in my family. I am recently married to her father and I'm very vain and conceited. My daughters are my pride and joy. I spoil them to death and so that's why they're so crazy in the way they are. I like the role of the, this prince. Um, I think that he is a, a real person as opposed to like a cartoon prince or a fairy tale prince. Um, he has real reactions to the people around him. This piece has inspired generations of film composers since its composition. For example, it's kind of dark and quirky in nature, so if anybody is a Tim Burton fan, loves the music of Danny Elfman, or even John Williams when he wrote the soundtrack to Harry Potter, it's got that magical, mystical, sort of dark quality about it. And all that music was based on this piece alone. Having the live music makes each performance special. It's like their ears are open and they're really involved in the musicians, the conductor, each other. It just becomes some real is all I can say, it becomes real. My favorite part of the ballet is when the clock strikes midnight. The music is just insanely great. You hear the tick-tocking of the clock just beating away and the music as the chimes are crashing around. It is just magnificent music and it's my favorite moment in the entire piece. From the minute the curtain goes up until the final bows, that's my favorite.